This, in fact, is probably quicker than punching it. <laughs> it is definitely quicker than punching it. And all I'm doing, like, like it, it, it doesn't. It seems like you can't push it at all. Like when, when you're, when you're walking straight into it, when there's room for it to go, it doesn't seem like you can make any forward movement. But you definitely can. You can push the Elder into the fire. Just push. You don't even have to punch it. I wonder if this is speedrun tech. Okay. Let's do what I was planning on doing yesterday. We... No, not new. Yeah. We need some definitive uh, Death Shutter practice. Simple as that. Um, I just, I don't know. I haven't been playing at my best lately, and it's getting on my nerves. I really, 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 really would like to improve a bit more and get consistent again. Um, also worth noting... I forgot what I was going to say... Okay. Forgot what I was going to say. Whatever, it's fine. Get out of here. upsetting because he was literally dead. Yeah. Unfortunate. That's fine. I did, I seriously completely forgot what I was gonna say. Hey, yeah, what's up, Kodama? How you doing? It has. It has. I love it. Um, how is it going? Not great. <laughs> Time to die. Life has been stressful. Very, very stressful. Oh, uh, what? Jesus. Get out of here, ladies. Yeah, I mean, it's nothing that a nice change of apartment won't fix, but... But, uh, until then... Stress. Oh, come on! Mm. 
bullshit. How's the backlog going? Uh, I think that there's like 800 games left. But this isn't going very well. I love it. Later, guys. I almost landed that. I just didn't. I didn't believe. I'm not speedrunning, I'm just practicing. Uh, but yeah, give me a minute. Evidently, I didn't do it. Uh, blah, 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 found something cool that you thought I might like. Yeah, lay it on me. See, like, this, like, you've been around. So, like, you've seen what kind of games I stream. and Like, like uh, here lately, dude, I've had so many strangers that just pop on and be like, you should play this. And, like, they'll try to disguise their demand that I play the game they want me to play as a suggestion. It's fucking annoying. But, like, yeah, like, this is a proper conversation. <laughs> Anyone watching that doesn't know how to do this, this is how it's done. Look, it's the easiest way to keep it up to date. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it again. Oh shit. Yo, I've heard of that game. Heard it has both God and hands in it. Oh, no, 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 like, well, never mind. Well, what I was saying is that, like, I don't mind you giving me a suggestion you've been around before, but, like, there's people that show up that just sort of, like, demand that I play the game they want me to play. Oh, shit. I didn't get here in time. Fuck ass. Get out! Okay, get out of there. Mmm, that was spicy. Oops. What? I don't agree. We're getting out of here. So what was it? Lay it on me, man. What's the game?
That was a bit f sloppy. I almost said floppy. It's not like a frilly hat. He's down. Uh, she jumped right through my fucking hitbox, bruh. She's down. Oh, <laughs> the bouncer. I've played it before, but yeah, it's still in the backlog. Uh, because the last time that I played it, I was basically a babu. Um, so, the bouncer is actually not very good, but there is a really, really, really funny infinite loop that you can get away with, with Kyo. Get out of here. Boop. Great. Don't wear a tie. The name of that makes me think of Say No More. That game is so good. Like, in terms of it being a video game, it's really not as interactive as most, but... Man, it was fun. It, it's fun in the dumbest fucking kind of ways. Also, what's up, Andrea? I definitely noticed that you were in there and forgot to say hi. So how are you? Hope that you're doing well. Man, I've been running into, like, more commentary about God Hand in different places lately, and I've been running into, like, some of the most asinine misinformation that I, like, like, it's just absurd. Like, people trying to claim that devil spawns are just straight up fixed and it's just an enemy count. Like, that's fucking hilarious. It's utterly false. And it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> But I know who originated that claim, and that person doesn't know what the hell RNG actually is or how it functions, so it's not surprising. Oh, whoops. Was it me? No. No. There's not a point in time where I've ever been that foolish. Okay, we should just get out of there. What? You choosing sleep over me? How dare- Ah, uh, that's fine. Yeah. 
Why did that not counter hit? Oh, get out of here! Just like last time, Tisk. And also Tisk. Oh man, you also have a backlog? Hold on, we're gonna look at this shit. Backlogs are uh, a passion of mine now. Can it, timer? So there's a website specifically for this shit? Good lord. Oh man, that's a lot of different consoles. Wait, fucking Atari 2600? What? At 1 a.m. Dude, I, I used to get told on a regular basis that uh, I streamed at uh, anti-Europe o'clock. Um, so, collection. What's, the, what's this? Man, dude, I can only fucking imagine how long it would take me to put my shit in here. See, the thing is, is that my my spreadsheet, like, the titles that you see uh, in the, the white area where there's no formatting of colors or anything, um, I randomized that so that basically the system would tell me uh, what game I should, what game I'm playing next. So when I bring up the next, like, the next uh, backlog stream will be all PlayStation 2, um... And, uh, I'll be playing them in the order that's seen on the spreadsheet. Uh, whereas this looks like... I mean, does this have a function like that? Because this looks like it, uh... Is just... Alphabetized. Action 52. Oh, shit. They're adding one real soon? Okay. I might consider it at that point. But I think, see, here's the thing. When someone, like, looks through my backlog and they, they go looking for games that they like and they see them all, like, in the red section, i.e. the section where I hated it. <laughs> Challenges. Uh-oh. Gross. One of the challenges is to touch Tekken 8 at all. Ugh. I don't know if I could tolerate that. This is an interesting idea, though. I do like this. Uh, but yeah, if they have, like, a, a randomizer for for the list so that you can know what see like the thing is though is like it wouldn't it wouldn't it would have to be better than just it showing me what game to play next because like with the way that my spreadsheet works um on hold on hold on let me show you let me show you on this guy right here on my real playstation 2 over here i uh I have the next 60 games from the backlog re ready to go on real hardware. Um, and we're playing God Hand on another SD card right now on the PlayStation 2. Um, and the thing is, is that I would, I would need to keep that system going. I would need to know at least 50 games ahead of what I'm doing. Because any time that I do a backlog stream, I think the most I've done in a single sitting was 37. 
And, like, the idea is not to beat them, it's just to get a sample tasting to see if I give a shit past, like, the 10, 15, 20, 30 minute mark. Um, usually the answer is no. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I, like I said, I like the idea. It's certainly a concept. Anyway, I gotta get back to my practice. I kind of want to, like, change my Ko-Fi into a situation where people can vote for what kind of content they want to see next. But to be fair, the last time somebody essentially dictated to me what I was going to stream next, Jesus Christ, there were six roulettes on the floor. And there's these right here. Great. See, I thought you were saying that you thought that there, that there was a game that I might be interested in. But no, yeah, that is... It is a curious project, for sure. Fuck off. So what made me get hit right there is that as soon as he started swinging, this bitch jumped forward and it pushed him a little bit closer to me. Okay, I gotta bait them to about right there. Turn around. Boop. I thought that I was late. Boop. Okay, good enough. Ah! Thanks, targeting. Thanks, targeting! Uh, why did that kick not hit her? Come on. That was some bullshit, and I think anybody watching can agree. need to be a little bit more careful. That's not it, at all what that looks like. What the fuck, dude? What? <laughs> no audio cue. It's no good. fine because I don't have any HP to lose from that. Ooh. 
Okay, let me out of here. Are you shitting me, dude? Ah, it's fine. Whatever. That was fucking whack. Because this isn't actually a speedrun, man. This is just my timer that accumulates all the hours I've spent on this shit. Also, I know it's not quite the last level. God damn it. And hi, welcome to the stream. Slid forward and I didn't react in time. Man, could you imagine if I could get here in 20 minutes somehow? I'm not even sure I would still be interested in this game as a speedrun. I would have to, like, have a category that doesn't allow whatever let me do that. Ah! She did the audio cue really, really late. Okay, yeah, it's, it's doing that shit where it backs you halfway into the wall. Okay, give me these bananas. Have a good one. Ooh, that was spicy. I don't think I deserve to get away with that. That's fine, this guy's done.
Oh, I didn't want that. Get out of here. But yeah, like here, here lately, I've just been I'm I'm underperforming, particularly in areas like this and the uh, the Flying Pyramid and uh, Mirage Town. So I thought, you know, maybe it would be a good idea to just have some practice time, or I just focus on the stuff I'm having trouble with. <laughs> Dude, what is the fucking odds? Hold on, what in the hell? I felt like there was something on my controller and I cannot identify what it might have been. I deserve it. <laughs> I love it. Great. Okay, that's starting to make it feel like I'm not really having trouble here anymore. Practice is important, people. Do it. Do the practicing. Oh, hell yeah! going very wrong. Why didn't that hit her? Like, Jean even, like, pivoted while he was doing that kick. Oh shit! 
I was clearly not paying attention. Eh, I'm not gonna get it, it's fine. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Risky, saucy, it's paying off, it probably really shouldn't. Targeting what the fuck are you doing, May? Yeah, I deserve this. I guess we'll grab that orange. Uh, please run. What are we doing here, Gene? Oh, she's dead. <laughs> What? Okay, I'm so I'm salty about that shit. I don't know why that wasn't a counter hit. Didn't even use the banana that time. No banana percent. Time for a little fun. Awesome. You know what's funny? Um, I can't remember is... where I noticed it, but. Someone else had actually figured out that they could do that before I did. Granted, we both discovered that shit independently. I, I wish I could remember where I saw it, but there was a, a, a considerably older video where, even though it was like segmented stuff, so like it shouldn't be, you know, it's not something that you take too seriously. Who was it though? Fuck. It wasn't the Aikido. It doesn't really matter. I saw somebody else doing it, like, way before I knew that you could do it. Uh, so that's interesting. Uh, what do we want to see? What what stages should we work on? I will move forward until we have some vote on what we want to look at. Okay, you know what? Let's grab them bananas. Boop. And an orange. Okay, thanks. Fuck you, game. <laughs> and now he's gone.
the muscle ladies? Huh? Not sure I know what you mean, muscle ladies. Uh... Yeah, you're gonna have to give me something else to go on because I don't know what you're talking about. Still not sure what you're talking about, though. I feel very confused. Sunglasses. Well, he's coming up if I keep going the direction I'm going. I'm testing something out here, that's why this guy is being problematic. I'll just do what I'm used to. I disagree. I definitely kicked you. Yo, he was being a uh, very, very, very uncooperative. muscle ladies. I'm still trying to figure out what in the hell you might be talking about. Like, I can't even come up with an answer for what that might mean if I were to consider the other games I've speedrun. Circus ladies, so I'm not sure who you're talking about, but there is a circus and there's plenty of ladies there.
Like, honestly, here in the next segment, we're coming up to... This is, like, the closest thing that I could even think of when... Like, the first thing that I thought of when you said muscle ladies, I was thinking, like, the two women next to Afro Fist? Well, Shannon is in the circus stage. I guess that foot wasn't there, don't worry about it. Uh, excuse me, that fist was definitely there. <laughs> this stage is always some weird X factor. And it's usually because of, like, this weird combo right here. This dumbass zebra lady, her hitbox is always a fucking question mark. Like, see, that kick should have countered her. And, of course, she did vert swipes twice in her. Fuck off. What? Why did it switch targets? What is the targeting doing? What's the goal today? I'm just practicing. The title of the stream is practice. The so the the goal is probably to practice. Why did the targeting do that, dude? It turned all the way past Conchita so that it could fuck me. This game, dude. Sometimes I just don't understand why it does the shit that it does with the targeting. I mean, whatever stages have been giving me trouble. You know, you've 
<laughs> you practice the stages that you're not doing that great at, so it's not random, but there's not like a specific list, no. Oh, what am I doing? God. Uh... I mean, if there's any particular stages you want to see, just let me know. We'll work on it. But for right now, like, the first thing I wanted to do was the Death Shutter. And somebody said they wanted to see the Devil Hand, so we're popping off with the Devil Hand. This is a pretty fun fight anyway. And honestly, I think... I personally don't think that you can ever overpractice a Zell. Excuse me. So the flying pyramid. I kind of figured that was going to happen. Uh, hello? What? I do have a save for that stage. And I honestly do tend to have trouble there. What? This is what happens when you try to read and fight and double hand at the same time. That was really, really terrible. Usually I can read and do that stuff at the same time. I don't know what's going on with me today. The Flying Pyramid, let's go. Um, this stage, like, if if you were to watch through my Hard New Game Kick Me Sign PB, I, I end up going, like, like, I end up gaining, like, 30 fucking minutes here. Like, it's huge. It's fucking massive. It was, like, 30, 35 minutes. Because this particular stage, I got all the way to the end of it and then died and then continued to have problems.
Okay. What? Why did that not do anything? That hand went right through her and, like, there was no reaction whatsoever. If I'd seen a dodge or something, that's one thing, but it did literally nothing. Of course it targets him, why wouldn't it? <sighs> Please ignore the enemy directly in your face and kick this other guy. Not oh, somebody died. Presumably from getting mohawked. Uh, okay. Like I said, this stage tends to be a problem. So, I'm, I'm just not doing very fucking well. Fucking seriously, dude. 
I don't deserve it, but I'll take it. Get out! Fucking hammer. No, they're totally different things. I mean, like, it's good to practice them both, sure, but Death Shudder is not even vaguely the same type of experience. Thanks, targeting. Thanks, targeting! Suck a dick, you fucking bitch! Dude, what is it doing? Okay. Dude, it's so annoying when the targeting just refuses to do anything that even vaguely makes sense. It switched between those two targets like four times. one is the hardest. Whichever one kills me. Honestly, you want to know what the hardest uh, enemy in the game is? It's the targeting. Sure, that wasn't a counter hit somehow. He's literally in the air, mid-kick, back-turned, but it's not a counter hit. This, this go through it gave me way too much fruit. Yep, that's what gave me too much fruit. Funny enough, what distracted me in the middle of that is um, my absolutely terrible neighbor slammed her front door and, like, this whole side of my wall, like, vibrated. I heard, I, I, I heard that, like, telltale, like, little rattle of my window. Uh, man, like, okay, she's a horrible piece of shit, right? But... I'm not even sure if I can blame that on, like, the da the door slamming on her because they don't take care of these buildings at all. And, like, in order to close my bedroom door, I have to, like, grab the door handle and lift. Otherwise, like, it, it's, like, askew from the door frame.
What else do we got? Flying Pyramid, Tower Mirage. And you know what? Let's just go on to the next segment. I typically have trouble with this spot in my practice sessions anyway. Not this stage, the next one, but still. Huh? I'm not... What is happening? Imagine literally anything getting done correctly in the U.S. There's a pretty much guaranteed uh, death, but that went really, really, really poorly. Uh, that's not what I was trying to do. Uh, hello? Why did that punch not punch? But like, man, I feel like every business in the U.S. like operates with the most short-term shit in mind possible. Cause like, I look at everything that's going on and I see like all this shit falling apart and the way that people in this country are being treated, right, is that like all the money is being siphoned to the top, but eventually that process will be complete and there will be no more money to siphon. And then the only way that the rich will be able to survive is to cannibalize the rich. And then what? What? You were mid combo too, how bag? Uh, hello? Uh, okay. A lot of dumb shit was happening right there. But yeah, during practice sessions, this always, this is always a problem area. They're walking, so fuck them. I mean, they'll get here eventually, but fuck them all the same. Oh, 
Worth it. Yep, that's how you would do it on a real PS2. say I, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna be perfectly honest I don't give a shit what gender you are Like, I, I just, like, how would that information have any impact on my life whatsoever? Oh my god, <gasps> Islam is a girl. This changes everything. It doesn't look like they said anything about your gender either, but okay. I just, I don't know, people say some of the weirdest shit in my chat sometimes. Ah, fuck. I'm not even like trying to roast anyone, it just doesn't, like, I don't know. <sighs> the 
Part of it is that, like, while I'm trying to do something where I'm focusing on, like, specific tasks that are not at all simple to focus on, people spend a lot of time saying just totally random shit. Yes, I do. It's not strange. It's not strange to randomly announce that you're a girl to people that never asked. Okay. Whatever you say. I don't think that that's a cultural difference. I think that's a you difference. Wow. I think it would be quite ignorant of me to blame an entire culture for your behavior. Wow. Wow. But, I mean... Karamu, like, you gotta, you gotta realize, like, I've been streaming for ten plus years, and man, I've dealt with it all. Okay, let me try to make sense of it then. They said something to you in a different language, and then you responded to that in English, leaving all the English speakers thinking that you're a crazy person. <laughs> well, I mean, like, even, even so, like, I mean, correct them, but you're correcting something that was in not English in English. For all any of us know, you're responding to something that was never said. Like, do you see what I'm saying? Like, it just... One way or the other, it doesn't match up. Like, if somebody said something here in Spanish, I'm not gonna respond to them in, like, Swahili. I'm gonna respond to them in Spanish. I'm not saying that you're speaking Swahili, I just picked a random language. Funny enough, that also starts with an S. But, like, for real though, like... Yeah... Okay. Targeting! God damn it, fuck shit ass. I actually don't speak Spanish. <laughs> but thank you for playing into the whole thing. Do I not? Wow, this save doesn't even have it. Shame. That's a Google Translate, isn't it? Now that we've got that clarified, welcome to my god hand stream again. You once told me when nobody else was around that you were a girl unprompted, so you can understand why I thought you did it again. Awesome, great. Still leaving me to wonder why it matters, but 
Like, I mean, realistically, if I was having a conversation with somebody online and they were referring to me and said she, I wouldn't even correct them because I don't give a shit. <laughs> like, honestly, like when someone was like, what are your preferred pronouns? But like he, him, she, her, they, them, muffin tin, combo meal, bro, whatever makes you feel comfortable. I don't care. You've been following me for a long time? Well, thanks for that. Uh... We gaming in real life, too, for real. Damn it! Bruh. Pass. You want a ride to hell retribution. Uh, you gotta go back in time, like... I'm gonna say about seven years to back when Laser Long used to speedrun that shit. Apparently the world record holder for that game is female. But I had never heard of her outside of uh, Laser Long saying that she still had the record. And the only reason I bring that up is because, like, of all the ladies that I know that speedrun, none of them speedrun shit like Ride to Hell Retribution. Unfortunately, I believe that. So, because of that... Let me go ahead and give you Zana's official stance on racism. Racism's dumb as shit, and if you're racist, you're dumb as shit. That's my official stance. So, if anyone says anything racist to you, uh, in my channel, you go ahead and call that shit out immediately, and they'll get fucking dealt with. And that's how we do here. What's the country I have the most watchers from? So, Twitch is really shit at this particular type of data, but I can actually give you that information. Pause the timer. I can actually give you that information pretty easily from YouTube. Um. Let's see, Twitch, what, are your analytics any better than they used to be? Um, no, Twitch doesn't have any information for that whatsoever. So, YouTube Studio. I'm pretty sure that last I looked, it was India, then Indonesia, then Brazil. Uh, then I'm not sure after that, but let's see. But, uh... Audience, uh, top geographies, Indonesia, Brazil, India, United States, interesting, Iraq, Argentina, UK, Saudi Arabia, that's in the last 28 days, well let's say lifetime. So, across the entire age of my YouTube channel, I was right on the first three. Indi Indonesia, well, 
Indonesia and India is were swapped. Indonesia, India, Brazil, U.S., Iraq, Saudi Arabia, United Kingdom, Thailand, Malaysia. I've got a whole lot of, like, Middle East and Far East Asia. <laughs> you forgot that I had a YouTube? Noise, noise. Yeah, I, uh, I've been simul streaming to YouTube for a while, and believe it or not, like, so I've been streaming to Twitch for over 10 years. Um, in fact, we might be over 11 years now. I'll have to go back and check. Um, but I've only been streaming to YouTube also for maybe a year? And I already get more activity on my YouTube channel than I ever have on my Twitch, so... Why no affiliate? Because I don't want it. Don't you enjoy not having to be blasted with ads every time you come by? I really enjoy it that my viewers aren't ad-blasted every time that they come around. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna keep it... No affiliate. None. No affiliate. That's the best. What is Twitch? It's a, uh, it's a streaming service specifically for video games. Nah, man, I'm not gonna force everybody to sub. Look, we just now discussed what my, what the three top countries that watch me are. Indonesia, India, and Brazil. And I'm not trying to talk shit here, but the economic situations in those countries aren't super great. And so people there tend not to have exposable income, or disposable income, rather, for, like, subbing to streamers and whatnot. So I don't want to ever have myself in a position where I'm gating the best experience of my stream behind you having to pay me for it. I just, I just don't like that. The only Moroccan, um... Morocco was on that list of, uh, uh, of, you of countries on my YouTube, but it was, like, number eight. Anyways, that's the same reason that, like, I'm not going to push for partner on YouTube either. I, ha look, I will, I will only mention this when it comes into a relevant situation, because I, I don't beg people for subs, I don't beg people for likes, I don't beg people for donations. I have a Ko-Fi. If you want to donate to my Ko-Fi, that's entirely up to you. But that, like, I'm doing that specifically because someone asked me to have a Ko-Fi because they wanted to donate. They subsequently didn't, but that's not important. I'm never going to partner either my Twitch or my YouTube because I, I don't want people to have to pay money to watch my shit ad-free. I know... Twitch is eventually going to force ads on every channel, let's just face it. Bezos needs his pennies. But, like, I don't want to be part of their, of their machinations, of their, like, corporate greed. That's really what it all boils down to. So let's, uh, let's try, seriously, we want the god hand. Hey, guys, uh... Please keep it English in here because, realistically, I can't tell if you guys are saying anything rude or unacceptable in other languages. So, my only recourse is to ask you to please don't speak in other languages. And if you do keep doing so, I'm gonna have to ban you. Uh, so yeah, don't do that. Don't make me do that. That's shitty. What did I just say? God ah, damn it.
Well, what do you know? People can learn languages. <laughs> that just makes me think of, uh, Jama. Ah, uh, that kick landed. <sighs> no audio cues! Oh, god damn. Wow. I do not. That's why I told you to please don't speak in Arabic, because I can't moderate chat in a language I don't know. We just had this conversation. Like, I'll be... Oh, she's down. I'll be real honest, the only language I know is English because I am an uncultured swine. I don't know nothing about nothing, and my only defense is that my country doesn't teach anybody shit. Like, example, Karamu, how many countries would you say you guys learned about in history in the UK slash EU? Y'all used to be part of the EU, so don't buck me on this. <laughs> Certainly, if you're no longer in school now, you were in the EU when you were, so. I guarantee you, any of you who have been in school, you answer with a number of countries. Just guesstimate. You don't need to be exact, but just a, just a, just a guess how many countries you guys learn about in, like, history and world studies. So that's two already. <laughs> that's one more than we learn about. Ten-ish. Okay, ten is ten is a fine number. See, yeah, um, America mostly just learns about America. The only time that we learn anything about any of the other countries is when we do bad shit to them and pretend that we didn't do bad shit to them. Like, man, we sure did bomb the shit out of Japan for freedom! Yeah. Fuck this fucking country. Um. <laughs> oh, did you for real? Bruh. I, pff, the fucking typed Kofo. Yo, you didn't have to do that. Share this moment. No, I'm trying to, I'm trying to go away. I'm trying to get away from it. You didn't have to do that, but thank you. Thank you for sure. Um, but no, yeah, so, America, like, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm in the U.S., I'm in America, ugh, I don't want to be here, it's not by choice, but, like, for real, pretty much, like, here's the thing, we don't really learn much about other countries, and most of what we learn about our own country is lies. See, our, our history, our history studies are mostly designed to make us super patriotic because America is always the hero in every situation in the world. That's not true at all. Fucking ignore all of that. But, like, that's the way that our history is portrayed, is that we're all heroes and we're all amazing and America is the greatest country on Earth and we've never done anything wrong and everything that we've done was for God and freedom. And it's so fucking bad. Yeah. It's a shame more people in this country should realize, yo, like, you've been fed a pack of lies. Like, look, like, anyone who's ever raised kids, right? Anyone who's ever been around kids, say two kids are off in another room and they have an argument or a fight. And the next thing you know, like, the remote's been thrown across the room and one of the kids has, like, a bonk. 
And like you like you go in and you get story from kid A that says it's entirely kid's B kid B's fault. And kid B says it's entirely kid A's fault. And you know that they're both full of shit, right? <laughs> You know that they were both engaging in in child warfare. General Custer. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Dude, pretty much all of America's history is fucked up. Like, I can't think of one single time in history when America actually did a good thing. Honest. Ikhoyal. Um, I'm not a genocide denier, if that's what you're asking. Um, what happened on October 7th was fucking horrid. The response to it is more fucking horrid. Uh, like, I, like, the whole idea of, like, we have the right to defend ourselves, uh, kind of falls apart when you're constantly dropping bombs the size of fucking city buses on people who essentially have pop guns in response. I know that they have some actual guns there, but, like, the balance ain't there. Uh, the Civil War cry. <laughs> Jesus, that's fucked up. Um... Look, basically, I sort of, I see that conflict as terrorist organization versus terrorist organization, except that the only people really paying the price are people who are entirely fucking innocent. So, that's depressing as shit. And if anybody wants to bail on me because of my views on that, then feel free. Because uh, I'm just going to say the truth. It is what it is. Uh, honestly, like, that whole topic really sucks for me because, like, our country is bankrolling most, if not all of it, and I feel guilty as shit about it, like, every fucking day. Like, I feel personally responsible because it's not like I can't pay taxes, and paying taxes means I'm paying into this war, and I don't approve but I don't know that there's anything I can do about that particular part of it. It just makes me feel like shit. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Anyway, hard to get back to gaming after that, but let's try. What else do I need to really focus on? Like, this shit keeps on going wrong, too, and I'm not really sure why. <laughs> PS2 backlogs. <laughs> yeah, this sucks. This went horribly wrong. Go ahead and kill me. Why do I keep fucking that up? This is a PS2 game I actually like. I mean, if you, uh... Have a good one, Son Goku. Uh, if you go into my, like, that spreadsheet that you referenced earlier, there's a whole section of purple that are all games that I like. Yeah, most of, most of the people that watch my stream 
are in countries where, like, this is not a good time of, of day for them to be watching streams. Hey! We talked about this. Time for a little... There we go. I was just, uh, doing my uppercut too quick. There we go. <laughs> Purple, I like. Green are games that are behind, that are sequels of other games that I haven't, that I either haven't played yet or that I've decided that I liked. For instance, if you look at the green section, the, uh, the, like, the sequels to Ratchet and Clank are in there, and I decided that I liked Ratchet and Clank, but I haven't beaten it yet, so I'm not about to play the sequel without it. Red, like, the deep red is games that I know for a fact I don't like. The slightly red section is games that, um... Games that are kind of okay that I might dabble in later. Yellow are the ones that have technical difficulties. I can't get those to run. Um, or, or it's either that I can't get it to run or I can't get it to capture on my capture card. Oh yeah, there's a completely different setup for this on the Japanese version. Oh hey, I did not restart my timer. There we go. I'm the recce holder in Samurai Western. So yeah, you could say I've played it a little bit. I hate that fucking attack so much. Well, here's a really good way to keep those games uh, separated in your mind. Samurai Western's actually a good game. <laughs> what did I even say on Dot Hack? I recall thinking that that game was fucking wretched. Oh, because he wouldn't shut the fuck up, dude. Like, we were in there for, like, 20 minutes, and the dude, the tutorial guy was, like, fucking blah, 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 blah. Like, and, and when, you, when you think the tutorial is over, you're wrong. There's more tutorial. And when you think that tutorial is, is over, you're wrong. There's more tutorial. I don't know what that is. What are you talking about? Here, since it got brought up, you know what we're going to do. So I haven't played it in a while, so why the hell not? Uh, apparently, I haven't opened this in a while. Yeah, I still don't know what that is. I'm such a doof. What a doofy McDooferson I am.
You think I'll like it. I don't know what it is. <laughs> hey, you know what? Let's do this from start to finish as though it were like a typical playthrough. Uh, what time is it? I have enough time for that. Oh god. <sighs> what are these people responding to me to? How long am I streaming for? Not much longer. What is all this shit? Oh god. Interesting. I corrected somebody on some God Hand related lore and they actually listened to me. Yeah, you guys. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> that's, a, that's completely absurd. I guess. Like, I mean, so... I, I ended up on the... it's It was a restream of Mazo running Hard New Game um, uh, from RTA Japan. And they they have, like, a restream channel that, that does commentary in English. Now, granted, the commentators that they had in English aren't good. Um, but it's not their fault. They're just not that familiar with the game. Like, one of the people in the commentary team had, uh... had, you know, done some basic homework in terms of, like, looking up runs and looking at them. Uh... Which probably means he mostly did his homework with my runs. But, uh... Why only play old games? It's not just that I only play old games. It's that most of my favorite games are older. There's not a lot of newer good games. What can I say? But, like, there was some comment in the middle of it about how... Uh... Devils are random. And, uh... There's some fucking fool out there who has claimed that devils aren't RNG at all, when, funny enough, his explanation still includes RNG. He just doesn't know what that word means. Um, but, like, a lot of people are, like, parroting that same shit. And I just corrected him. I was like, no, yeah, they're random. And the guy was like, sorry about that comment. I It was rude and I must have been in a shit mood. I, like, I apologize, blah, blah. Like, huh. What's up, Nitten? I'm doing all right.
Optimally, I would be level 3 at the end of this stage. Rise to honor. I don't believe I do, no. I don't think I'm going to be level 3 at the end of this. What? Okay, sure, why not? I forgot to start the timer. It doesn't really matter that much, though. Let's be real. Oh, bro, did you? <laughs> God! That sucks. Did you get that figured out, though? you to my spreadsheet on that but like all the games that are on PlayStation 2 that I actually like are on this uh, SD card that I'm using right now stage is over yeah so basically basically all of that shit let's pause all of that shit came from mike cobb who as per usual doesn't know what he's talking about so basically what he was pointing out um there's a few observations that he made that are accurate one of those observations is that if he starts a stage and makes a save state and a specific enemy has a double spawn, then when he loads state, that same enemy will have the double spawn. He concluded from this that that meant it's not RNG, that it's fixed. No. Uh, he later went on to say that, like, basically the game picks an, an enemy that will have a double spawn and, like, when when the map generates a group of enemies, it will pick one out of that group at the moment that they're all generated to have a double spawn. Sort of true, but also sort of not true. He also uh, pointed out that in instances where multiple different waves of enemies are created, such as the jewelry room in Stage 1-5, that each time that a new wave is... Uh, is created it's my favorite game of all time that every time a new wave is created that that same thing occurs again true that's why the jewelry room has the highest devil concentration in the game but like he's he concluded that that means that it's not rng because once he starts the stage that it's going to be that same enemy every time well, no, that just means that the RNG makes its determination at the beginning of the stage, when all the enemies are created. Now, there are some things that you can do to influence when a devil does and doesn't spawn. There are a large number of accumulating factors that build up over time that eventually determines that, okay, in this group of enemies we're going to see a devil here and here. Um... And I know this for a fact because in stage one, two, typically, like, when I'm doing my speedrun thing, right, and in stage one, two, if I manage to do the strategy properly and I get the fat boy to stagger off of the ledge, not kick him off the ledge, where he, like, goes into that, oh, God, I'm falling, and then you tap him and he trips over, he's removed from memory 
not in the same way that you that he would be if he were kicked off or killed in entirely. And typically when I get that to happen correctly, I don't see a devil spawn before the gate in stage 1-3. So like there are some there are some factors that the player can utilize to make devils less likely, but the idea that they're not RNG is absolutely bunk. Uh, especially since it was like there was this idea of like it being a kill count, which is completely nonsense. Because if that were the case, all you'd have to do like is. All you'd have to do is, like, like start up a game and kill everybody in the first stage, and then, like, count. How long does it take you to get to the next devil spawn? Oh, it'll be that exact same number every time. No. Could you please? Anyways, in, in that comment, I pulled I pulled rank on him, essentially, and was like, Source, I'm the world record holder. Yeah, in Electric Deathmatch, the enemy will come back. It's really weird. Ah, I'm stuck. That doesn't, like, ever happen. What the fuck? Yeah, take care. Sleep well. What boss fight? I booze. I can't imagine, like, you getting away with using the roulette orbs to do that anyway. I did not mean to do that. That was a horrible, horrible mistake. Holy shit. Reset. It really doesn't matter that much. It is a huge mistake, though. If this was an actual run, it would be over already.
Hell yeah. Man. God, that was so wrong. I'm kind of curious. 218, how bad was that against my run? Probably really, 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 really bad. You bastard. I just think it's funny here lately just how many uh, how many myths Mike put out there that I've just been busting lately. All right, Karama, Kara Karamu, bleh. have a good one, bro. Wasn't getting any doubles right there at all. Um, a wanted man. I'm pretty sure this is the yeah. This is the Donald stage. So I can't use my juice. So far, this has gone not great. Ah, oh, god damn it, dude. Like, I've got a, a different game's buttons, like, stuck in my head. 
At least I remember that. What does this trigger right now? Nothing looks like. Oh, it's these. Okay. Not important. Not important at all. Can't use my deuce right now. Definitely can jump high enough to get up there. That's not even close, but okay. There we go. That, that boss fight can actually find a lot of stupid ways to go wrong, but it, they mostly just involve the combo refusing to happen. Wait, what am I doing? That's... <laughs> we don't mess with the accessory screen at all. Totally pointless. Censored. I got bamboozled by a fucking chair, mate. Can't 
see shit. Oh god damn it. I really, really, really hate that I keep fucking that up. I, I'm trying to even, re like, figure out what game I'm doing that from. Is that what I'm trying to- no. I don't know. I'm doing really, really poorly, but to be fair, it's not like I've played this a lot lately. Breakthrough. I think that this is still should. Yeah, this is still Shibuki. This used to be Dianaya, but it got rerouted. Yeah, the, the weapon selection is extremely important. Whoops. Both of those were supposed to hit. Okay. I don't know why we focused uh, left there. That was a bit weird. Yo, thanks targeting, I guess. That was pretty great. Thanks targeting. I didn't need to do any of that. I don't even know why I'm killing these enemies. I hate this guy so much. Are you shitting me? He's gonna get another fucking chance to shoot at me. Whatever. I don't know why he survived that. That was really stupid. What time is it? <sighs> Eh, I should actually duck out anyway. Gameplay is bad and I don't have any more time. The fuck is this Gatley game that people keep on talking about? Gatley. Did you mean gate game? Gatley without an E. 
Did you know? Did you mean gay game, dude? Like this is like the third time in a row that someone's said, "Oh, you should really play this." This game it starts with a G, and it just doesn't make any sense. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. The Gay Games is a worldwide sport and cultural event that promotes acceptance of sexual diversity. Okay, I didn't know that there was like a Homo Olympics. I like that. That's good stuff. A federation of gay games. Nice. Vancouver. That's pretty cool. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and go. Are there any Twitcheroonies to point you guys to? No, not really. Because of course not. All right. Well, thanks for hanging out, everyone. Uh, thanks for the dono. That was pretty cool. I honest to God don't know like how to do a payout. Went to my PayPal account. Yo. That's sick. I've never done this before. Anyways, y'all have a good one. Valheim has a leaderboard. I don't know what's in it. 